A Metro Atlanta family is reflecting on a bitter sweet victory. Five years after their son died in a college hazing incident, the family of Max Groover has now been awarded $6.1 million in a settlement. Groover was 18 years old and a freshman at LSU. On September 13th, 2017, Max and other pledges went to the Phi Data Phi Delta Theta House. They played a drinking game they called Bible Study, where they were forced to chug 190 proof liquor if they couldn't answer questions about the fraternity or recite the Greek alphabet. Max's body was found the next morning and his blood alcohol level was six times the legal limit. His father tells us every day he thinks of his son and hopes their story will stop hazing or at least encourage someone to do what no one did for their son, Max. Everyone needs to understand just how dangerous hazing is, and particularly when you mix um, alcohol and hazing together. If anybody would have just called 911 in that room that night, uh, Max could, his life could have been saved. A former LSU student was convicted of negligent homicide and served two and a half years. And though the settlement, of course, won't bring Max back, his family says they're on a mission to educate teenagers on the dangers of hazing to help save other lives.